city, kids. The hillbillies have landed. Big and rich has to set itself on New York City. I'm Elvis Presley, and this is my good friend Paul McCartney. We're big and rich. Big and rich. Well, I walked up to the bar. Country music, it's music for the country. You know, that's why you call it that. And uh, it seemed that Nashville had just gotten so scared to let artists make their art, you know, telling us, hey, you can't put that color in your music. Hey, you can't say that. Hey, you can't do that. That's That groove don't work, you know. And it chopped it down to such a point that it just wasn't fun anymore. Why does everybody of ours, Mark Oswald, suggested after he heard us play this little this benefit thing one night, it was just John and me sitting there across from two chairs facing each other, just playing our songs and just having a big time. He's like, boys, I gotta tell y'all, I really think you ought to consider doing something together. I had just lost my record deal, and the reason they told me is that they couldn't get me played on country radio because I, my music was too progressive. Well, I said, well, if I'm too progressive for country radio, how in the hell are they gonna understand Big Kenny, you know? I just couldn't see it. Okay, okay, that's Come down a bit. I said that's good. Last night, we played Columbus, Ohio with Tim McGraw. It was about 18,000 people, and it was great. Then we got on our bus and rolled about 580, 600 miles up here to New York City and, and uh, got up this morning and actually shaved because we had a photo shoot to do with a major magazine. Major entertainment magazine called Entertainment Weekly. That's nice. Animated as possible, it's great. We're shooting up against brick walls. We're shooting next to cars. We're shooting on top of a limousine with Phil, the British photographer. Wicked. 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 Oh, that's a wicked piss wicked. up. That's a wicked piss up of a picture. I was like, Let's hey, take a yeah. walkabout. Let's take a walkabout. Walk about. See if we can look, find somewhere else to shoot. <laughs> like, I love hey, the graffiti. Is it bad? I mean, it's not terrible, but if <laughs> if <laughs> just, you know. Just go like in the door, yeah. Okay. Do the thinking, man. Do the thinking. Yeah. I like to do the thinking. <laughs> I can't laugh while I'm doing it. Hang on a second. Because it's got to look serious here. Thank you, man. Ready? <laughs> what can I say? What do you think? I think we just took a picture in a shitter. To lead the freight, to, freight, to lead the freight parade. Hey! Somebody's got to be on a freight, to lead the freight parade. Somebody's got to be unafraid to lead the freight parade. To lead the freight, to lead the freight, to lead the freight parade. Hey! Me and Big Kenny, a guy named John Nicholson, and another guy named Corey Gearman, we had all hit the skids in our career, but we're all, all best friends and uh, decided we'd all get together and start playing music on a Tuesday night. Uh, That's when we started the Music Mafia. So the Mafia, M-A-F-I-A, stands for Musically Artistic Friends and Alliance and Abundance. There's only one condition of getting on our stage, and that is you have to be great. The thing about Music Mafia, if you've never seen one before, is it's basically every kind of music you can think of and the most Billy Badass guys doing it that you've never heard of all coming up on stage at various points of the evening and kicking your ass. Roll like a butterfly, ding like a bee. 
it's, it's the most fun we can possibly have as musicians. It's like a bigger version of what me and Kenny do. I'm the man who can make you high. I'm the man with a twinkle in his eye. I don't want to hear about you. I can't do this. If I would, I wish I could have known it. We've been writing songs, both of us, and making music out of Nashville for over 10 years. We've kind of just taken everything that we like and put it into our music. So we call it country music without prejudice. Happy! Why can't we all be happy around the university? It means we're accepting of everybody and whatever music that they make, and we take our music there. Cowboy Troy is a six foot five inch, 260 pound black rapping cowboy, cowboy from Dallas, Texas. Yeah. Six foot five with the cowboy hat. No one don't mess around. Yo, what's up with that? From Cowboy Troy, the Texas hick, and I'm rolling with the brothers. Big and red. He grew up as a black kid in Dallas, and everybody was listening to rap and hip hop and RB, but he also loved country music. He grew up combining those kinds of music. Now we take him out with us on tour, man, and when he walks out on stage, you just see the crowd's eyes kind of bug out and their, their mouth kind of opens like, you gotta be kidding. And then he just lays it on him, man. Dum, diggity dum, diggity diggity dum, dig this slicker than the grease from a barbecue brisket. Got more chunk than a fresh potato salad. You thought you had your answer, but your answer wasn't valid. You look at him and crazy because you think I'm loco. The big black cowboy with the crazy mojo. I've seen crowds of big rebel flags swinging out in the audience, just like that, and then cowboy, and then and then pumping their fists, go cowboy, go cowboy, go. It's just an awesome thing uh, to think that music can transcend those kind of boundaries. Say, go cowboy, go cowboy, go. Go cowboy, go cowboy, go. Ladies and gentlemen, cowboy Troy. Cowboy Troy, 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 cowboy